Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to set up react.js for our first application. But before actually moving ahead and learning how to set it up, I would actually go ahead and um, give you a bit a brief introduction of what react.js is in case you're not familiar. React.js is in today's world one of the most famous front end library for building user interfaces which was created by Facebook uh, obviously for its own purposes and these days it has is being used by um, companies such as Dropbox, Airbnb, Netflix, you name them actually um, such as Reddit even so all of them uses uh, react.js for their uh, user interfaces why because obviously it's easy to use and it actually separates your front end from the back end plus um, it gives you it gives a sort of like a you can say your applications um, is far more speedier and in case um, your application require a lot of um, there is a, there is a lot of data processing going on then I guess the better option is to go for react.js because it separates your logic from the front end so whatever you whatever you do it at the back end uh, nothing is going to be uh, nothing is going to impact on the front end so you are just you do normally use apis to actually get the data and uh, and then you obviously um, use react.js to further process it out to show um, different output to your users anyways uh, coming back to the next topic which is uh, any guesses like whether it's a library or a framework it's one of the most unclear subjects of React, whether it's a library or a framework. Anyways, I'll uh, let you know. It's basically a library. Um, so why, sh why I call it a library? It's because uh, a library in a programming language is basically something that can, can be considered as the collection of a codes. We use library to write codes in a much simpler way or normally we import features for, for the project. And one of such uh, library um, that we all use it for our projects um, is jQuery. And uh, React.js is something similar. While framework, on the other hand, is a combination of both the functionality and the libraries. So it's far more complex compared to um, the library part. Now, the next thing is, um, how does React.js works? To understand the uh, this concept, you need to know a bit about the Doom, the document object model. Doom is something like I would say, uh, it's, it's totally it's, it could be considered as a representation of your HTML code in a web page. Your HTML has a header and a, then you have a title in the body. You have a, your H1 elements or your divs or your paragraphs. These are all your um, basically your objects or elements inside your um, Doom structure. And what uh, what React.js does is it uses a different sort of a concept. It's called as a virtual Doom. Each time you make, let's suppose each time you make a change in the code, what used to happen was Doom will completely update or rewrite the whole HTML. That means a lot more loading time. What virtual Doom does it is that let's suppose um, you are over a site and there is a header and there is a footer and there is a content in between. Now, just imagine, let's suppose you click about section, your header in the footer just remains the same. Why you would want it to reload? Why not just change the content in between? That's what it does. And it that's how things get speedier by using the virtual Doom. Um, next thing is like uh, what syntax it use. So, I'm sure till now you must have uh, gone through the challenges and the syntax you already know. It's called as JSX, um, and which is JavaScript XML in short. It is basically you can say an extension um, to the JavaScript and which is being used by React. JSX is basically used um, to write HTML tags inside the JavaScript. Later, um, you will see um, later this basically code hall gets compiled and. Uh, transcompile you can say by using Babel actually. So we are now all set to set up the react.js. The first thing that we need is node.js. So you need to go to node.js.org, go to the download section and if in case you're using Windows just click this Windows installer. Once you have uh, downloaded the file 
Like any other software, you just need to click next, 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 and you'll be done. Just make sure that you know the location where you are actually installing the node. Uh, once you have set up the node, in my case, I already have, uh, you need to set up the environmental variables. So you go to settings, you actually will just type uh, edit environmental in the search and then click the edit the system environmental variables. Once you're over there in the advanced tab, you will click environmental variables. Uh, over here, there's a path variable, click that and you just click new and copy paste your location. In my case, I already have done that. C colon slash program files slash node.js. Why we need that? Uh, and obviously press OK, OK buttons in the end. Uh, why we need that? Because in the NPM, eh, sorry, in the command prompt, we want uh, NPM to work. NPM is basically the node, pa node package manager. And um, how are we going to test? Just type in NPM dash V. It's going to tell you which version of node you're using. Um, why we uh, need uh, an upgraded version? Because um, this create React app package requires NPX to be used, and NPX only comes up with NPM 5.2 plus version of the node. So in case you already have um, set it up, you just make sure that uh, you have the right version or not. Then. Um, whatever the drive location you want to go in my case i want to go to this test folder so uh, i've reached there now i'm going to actually just create an app uh, using the command and let's just wait probably like uh, it may take a bit of time like for some cases if your speed is a bit slow it may take a minute or two but normally it's like uh, uh, it's faster once you have done once you have done installing that all you need to do it is uh, obviously go to that location and then use the command npm start it's going to actually uh, uh, will open what you call as your react app onto the browser something like uh, will have like a local host call in 3000 your port uh, and you will see the app running over here and using the visual studio we are going to obviously see the backend so let it, uh, let's it. let just wait a bit. Hopefully, it should be done in a few minutes. And uh, OK, so npm install. This is NP OK, so we, it's creating an app, which is good. Installing package. Mm, that's nice. Uh, OK. So uh, OK, I guess let's wait a bit and probably um i'll pause the video a bit and then i'll come back and uh, once the installation is done all right so our installation for react app packages are is done basically and now uh, what we are going to do with it is we are going to actually try it out whether we have a successful uh, installation done or not um don't worry much about it because like it may take like three to four minutes uh, to uh, get things set it up. So, I mean, uh, no point in worrying if it takes a little longer because it will totally depend upon um, the speed of your internet, actually. So now we go into, we are already in the test folder. Um, we can actually check a bit. Uh, we have CD my app. We'll go into that application. Okay, the files are done. Now we're going to type in npm start. So once you do, once we actually do that, uh, then you can say sort of server actually starts and uh, you are going to be taken to that local host call in 3000. So in a few minutes, we should see our React app over here. In fact, in a few seconds. <laughs> so, okay, let it load. While it's loading, let's just go to our test folder and see how things look actually. So if you look at the folder structure, we have a source, we have public folder, we have our node modules. Um, I mean, if you are going to look it up uh, like for the first time, you may get confused. You may be like a bit of a bit worried, like how are you going to actually tackle all of this? 
but not to worry um that's uh, what we are going to learn slowly and gradually um so here is your app where i mean i'm sure you must have gone through some of the um challenges where we had a similar sort of a syntax and over here we, i mean we're just importing the files and we are actually using the same jsx um i mean format for the html and nothing more and now till now i guess uh, we should have our react ready yep it's ready and we have successfully uh, actually installed the version in case you want to check whether it's successfully installed and it's running you just actually hide or remove this and you should see what you all as let me just refresh oh yep it's gone so it shows that it's uh, it's a workable version and it's yep and it's coming so uh, let's just have this installed and set it um, and um, you should all set it up over your pcs once it's done uh, we move ahead with the next steps thank you